Lauren here and thanks for stopping by my channel Lauren's Life. So today's video I wanted to show you guys my everyday quick curly hair routine and some of my techniques that I use um, to just keep my curls moisturized and as curly as they can be. So I started my new curly hair journey about a month ago at the beginning of August. So it's been about a month that I've been doing this routine every single day and it really works for me. I tried a few different things here and there but this is the one that's like solidly worked for me. So um, and I also in my last video I did a before and after of what my hair was like before I did my big chop and then what it looks like now so if you want to check that out and see the results then I'll put the link in the description down below and you should definitely check it out so without further ado here is my routine so first what I do usually is I just take my spray bottle and I will just like spray my hair all over I'm doing this in my room because um, it's the best lighting and I don't really have a way to set it up in my bathroom so don't judge me so I just spray it like that this is actually my bed head that I usually start out with every day it's not it's not terrible shoot it might be a look I usually take the water and then I just like spread it through and get the curls pretty wet looks crazy when I first start to do it, but that's okay. Okay, and then once it's wet, and I'll, I'll probably go through and spray it a few times throughout just to re-wet stuff as I'm doing it. Um, and then after that, I usually do my part to start off with. I'm literally 20 years old, and like I still struggle with doing parts, so don't judge me on this. But I usually, I love doing a side part. smooth it over to make it a little bit more defined some of these baby hairs up front are a little bit harder to do because they like to do their own thing most of the time but that's okay that's just how curly hair is in general I don't know what that is so after I have my part I usually take my Shea Moisture um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. It's got shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. Um, I love, love, love the Shea Moisture products. They just work so well for my hair. Um, I started trying them when I started my curly hair journey um, about a month ago. So they've worked for me ever since. I use this. I use the, um, the leave-in conditioner. I use the um, hair mask. I use the shampoo, the conditioner, everything. So obviously this isn't going to work for everybody. I've heard good things about Shea Moisture and I've used it myself, but everyone's curly hair is different, so do what works for you. But this is what I use, so I'll show you here. And um, it actually is great because it has no sulfates, no parabens, um, no phthalates. I don't know how to describe that. Um, no animal testing, no petroleum, all that good stuff. So. Um, it's super nice and I absolutely love their ingredients and it's all natural so that's great. It doesn't have anything that's damaging. So then I usually take that. I kind of just judge how much to use as I go. So this is about how much I start out with just to kind of warm up. I don't know. And I will just kind of start with front parts of my hair. Some of the sides. Kind of run that through. My hair soaks it up pretty quickly, so that's why sometimes I just need to kind of like add more as I go. Um, yeah, and I try to pay extra special attention over here so my part still stays pretty visible. And I usually get a little bit more for the back. And I just take that and go like that, smooth it over, and I try to make sure I get almost every strand just to make sure there's no dry, dry parts or any parts left untouched. After it's all rubbed in, I try to go through and really define each strand, not every single strand, but I try to define them more individually so then I can separate them after it dries. 
And I just go through, take my finger, curl it up, especially the pieces at the top that are pretty visible. And you can kind of curl it however you want with your finger. It's pretty, I don't have a specific technique of the way I do it, but you can just see I kind of wrap it around and then let it go. And it just makes a little curl. Try to get the back. I usually have looser curls in the back, so it's a little bit more difficult to try to get at these and make them a little more defined because they are so loose. And I'll let you guys see what I've done in the back so far. Hopefully you can see. And if I need a little bit more, I just get a little bit more of the leave-in conditioner on my finger. I love defining these pieces up top just because they curl so pretty, usually. Sometimes they do whatever they want. Curly hair always has a mind of its own. And we all know that. And I just keep going. And if it gets dry by the time I get over to the other side, I just spray a little bit more on there like I just did. Okay, so this is pretty much after I go through and I curl all of the individual pieces. So I'll show you guys. And they're obviously in pretty big clumps, so I'm gonna separate those obviously after I let it like dry and kind of set just for a second. Um, most of the time it just depends on what my curls are doing that day. Sometimes I'll wait until it's completely dry and then kind of take my fingers and lift it up and separate it, which I'll show you. Um, but since today I'm kind of going a little bit quicker and for the purpose of the video, I will separate it a little bit when it's wet. And sometimes I even do that um, on the daily just because it just works better and it doesn't frizz as much as when I let it dry and then I do it. After using my leave-in conditioner, I usually take some oil to kind of really lock in the moisture for my hair. Um, I've been using this oil for a while now. I actually got it a few months ago at Sally's and I have loved it ever since. It's called Strengthen Hair Oil and it's with castor oil. It helps nourish the scalp and strengthen the roots while adding a healthy reflective shine. So I really, really like it. I'll show you guys the bottle here. Hopefully it focuses so you can kind of see. But yeah, so that's usually what I use. And I just put like a quarter size amount that's usually enough for my hair but it just depends on how much hair you actually have and how much you you want to use so it's up to you but if you see it there hopefully I just rub that in and I kind of just like go over my hair like that sometimes I'll rub it through a little bit if it's still kind of wet the curls usually stay pretty well rub it in the back and try to really coat all your strands. That's the key to just getting it one uniform look. So if you need to curl, recurl a few pieces, you do you. Still pay attention to the hair close to the part. Okay. And then while it's still kind of setting and drying, I love to use the Pure Eco Style Gel. Um, it's free of parabens, sulfates, um, it's vegan free, cruelty free, non-toxic, so I love this stuff. Um, and it's super easy to use and it's not like um, a super filmy type of gel either. Once you put it on, it dries pretty well and it doesn't leave any like white filmy stuff. So it's super, super cool. I bought edge brushes from Amazon a while ago, but it actually like I don't know it doesn't work as well as my toothbrush that i specifically use for my edges so these just work better i usually take a little dollop however all you use it's kind of just up to you how much you actually want to use but i will just go through take it here hopefully that doesn't mess up my makeup I kind of swoop, do a little swoop. I'm so particular about my edges and I'm kind of a perfectionist. So it usually takes me 
a while to really like how they look and to just leave and go with it. I'm trying to get better at doing the swoop down here next to my ears because I just think it's so cute. Some days it works, some days it doesn't, it just depends. But today it did pretty well, pretty well. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I try to make both sides look even, it never works. So I'm hoping today it looks, see now look at me, look at me out here messing it up. What am I doing? Eh, they kind of look the same. Close enough. Also, if you ever want to curl the hair that's next to your ears, I do that sometimes too, and I'll kind of take the toothbrush and just like swirl it. So then there's a little curl over here on the side. So I'll do that on this side too. Hopefully it works the same as that one. I just go, twirl it, kind of, and there you go. And usually I'll just leave the ones at the top, like my baby hairs, I just kind of leave them alone. I'll smooth them down sometimes and just make them kind of like that. But I really don't bother too much with them because I really don't have a lot up at the top. I could probably pull down some more hairs but I usually just leave them alone since they're so thin and I don't wanna mess them up or do too much. And I also put makeup on, so I don't wanna mess that up, but you know what, who cares? Okay, so after I finish my edges, mostly my hair has set by this point and I will take my hands and my fingers and really get the curls to kind of come out. So I'll just go like this. I just have to be careful to not do it too much or else you kind of mess up the whole curling that you just did so I just kind of go through pinch my hands together to pull the curls out from where they are same in the back I kind of do that to smooth them down just a little bit and I do the same to the other side as you can see, I'm really not running my hair or my fingers all the way through my hair again because that's going to mess up the curl. So I just do that slightly and kind of take them out. And I especially do it at the top since I like a lot of volume up there. So I just do that. Especially in the back to just try to get those. If you need to curl a little few that get frizzy, that's okay too. All right, all finished. Here are pictures of what my hair looked like when I was all finished. So I feel like pictures are a way better representation of what my hair actually looked like when I was finished. So I wanted to show you guys. No, they'll still pretty much stay the same all day. At least that's what I've experienced using those products and doing that specific routine. So it stays all day and it really locks in the moisture and my curls just look super defined and shiny. And that's my curly hair routine. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. I post every single Saturday, or at least I try to. So tune in, subscribe, and thanks so much for watching.